let's end with this question, Mike. This has been uh, uh, really cool. I think we've covered uh, a lot of things, but just one of your um, one of your values, uh, you know, rather than biases, I'll call it a value, is um, is the United States. And uh, this is an election year. It's a particularly insane election year of 2024. And I guess, like my question, um, David and I aren't as like uh, in the weeds in terms of politics, except as it relates to crypto. But like, we, <laughs> I mean, we definitely live here and see what's going on. Like, is America going to be okay after this election? Like, do you have any election predictions? I, I'm not asking who's going to win and who's going to lose, but but say that if you want. Like, my broader question is like, are we as a country going to be okay? I mean, it depends on what you, what do you mean by okay? <laughs> like, are you asking if democracy is going to still exist? Yeah. To, to me, it's like constitution, democracy, and also like no civil war would be like a good definition of Who's like, going to okay. fight in the civil war? Like, let's just start there. Who's fighting in this war? Is it like this, this, the sort of angry baristas of San Francisco <laughs> fighting the farmers in Napa Valley? Like, that's not happening. Democracy is going to- What about, uh, will the far, with the extremes- the left and the right, will they get further apart or will we like move closer together as society? Like, can we like meld far left and right re like relations? I, I like that's that's nice. That would be nice to have my like my question, too, is like, will the republic just hold? You know, like, are we going to be able to just maintain a democracy? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really. <sighs> We're talking about two democratically elected presidents and everyone is saying that democracy has failed. And it's like, well, both of them won their election and it didn't fail. So like our, automatically I'm sort of like, okay, what are we really talking about here? It's just, it's like very hysterical. Um, it's all like super, super, super hysterical. And I think people just need to like calm down generally and be a little bit more sober about this. Mm -hmm. I do think that there are huge problems that are new problems. I think that the weaponization of the court is really scary to me. Um, I think that the sort of distrust of the court, uh, the higher court, the Supreme Court, is really scary to me because, like, you have a situation now where people all sort of understand that if you control the Supreme Court, you can just sort of magically do whatever the fuck you want. And that is – that's, like, super authoritarian potentially. Um, you know, you have the Democrats talking about packing the court, which is, like, really horrifying to me. Uh, just, like, a complete – so that's, like – for me, that's, like, you're taking over the country. Uh, you've dissolved the legislative branch at that point. Um, and they're new things. The courts have not ever been this – the Supreme Court has never been this distrusted. And, um, and the idea that – that's not like the Alvin Bragg case was, like, really crazy to me. I couldn't believe that that happened. Um, but I still think like the thing about America is it's so goaded in terms of like talent and resources and money. I often wonder like, why are things so stupid here? Like separately <laughs> from the internet, things are so dumb in so many ways. Like San Francisco mm -hmm. is dumb. Like the, the politics are really, really dumb and the internet didn't do that. Okay. It's like been dumb for a long time. Um, the reason is because we can like it's like we're we just are so good <laughs> that like the like we can fail totally at politics and still we're better than everybody else um so there's not enough external pressure to fix anything right now that's both good and bad it's like bad news for new infrastructure projects you're never getting high-speed rail in california um as long as we don't have like some kind of i don't know california specific dictator to do it which would i don't know i'm open to it um but like we're also, I think, democracy is going to exist. And uh, I think the Republic does survive. And uh, it's like, does the Republic survive a Donald Trump presidency? It did. Everything was fine. Um, like, I just don't think that there's, a, I think that people freak out about this stuff and it's actually fine. I think that we're, there are fewer checks and balances to just pure democracy, which is a problem. Like we're becoming more and more of a sort of, like I think all of the California style direct democracy is really bad. Uh, you want you want to be electing representatives and having them legislate and you want to make sure the courts are not legislating that the courts are um determining what legis like they're sort of litigating what legislators have have uh have said mm -hmm. but yeah i mean this is a lot i'm babbling I, I think things are going to be fine um i don't think there's there's definitely not going to be a civil war because who where would the the lines even be it's like with your urban core versus the, ever, the suburbs that just seems really silly i think that 
yeah, I think things are going to be fine. I'm, I'm glad to hear you say that, Mike, because the Civil War would be very bad for our bags, I, I think, over here in crypto, among well, other crypto things. Well, crypto would boom. <laughs> I don't know about that. It would be boom time for crypto. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You need a currency you can trust. Sometimes we wonder if this is a risk-on asset or a risk-off asset or like what it actually is and how it trades. But uh, Mike... So far, it's been both, Yeah, it's been both. Bearish. It's been both. <laughs> if you enjoyed all of that, then you'll absolutely love the Bankless newsletter. Join over 300,000 fellow readers, all for free. Click below to sign up.